And that's the way it is on what day is this, anyway? Let me say this. It's a quarter of our entire wheat crop at bargain prices. And called in police to escort members of the teacher's bargaining unit from the administration building. The governor's mansion is getting a much-needed fire detection system. Kozlowski says the system, estimated in cost at $5,000, is vitally necessary for the safety of the governor and his family. But among employees, no matter whether they work in the suburbs or here in a downtown mall, there is agreement about at least one thing, and that is the Christmas season is almost over, and now it's time for a day of rest. The new regulations will offer additional guidance in 80 airport areas around the country. Don't go. We don't have any answers. <laughs> I'm fine. Poor guy. Let us get the mailbox for you. Getting a little ahead here. Uh, this long birdie putt at the ninth had uh, back nine miseries again today. More on that later. Jack Nicholas. Oh, we'll let Lima putt there. I'm afraid we're just a little bit mixed up on that uh, tape, but that figures. The big news is that Nicholas has come in. Uh, to tie a uh, player and Palmer. Uh, we um, have some scores here. I'm going to uh, bring you eventually here. I'm sure it's going to uh, materialize. Uh, if not, I'll get a gun here. And uh, we want to show you Billy Casper, who's got a, a new figure that uh, you folks who haven't seen him since he was at the ICO at Wethersfield, uh, you won't recognize him. Yeah. Reindeer and buffalo and some of the wild games and also we've tried turtle and uh, we are planning to try hippopotamus and <laughs> elephant and a few other things like that. That tenderloin of uh, hippo there, I think he was talking about hippo steaks, is very good, especially with rutabagas and uh, bamboo shoots. I understand. I have never had any. Uh, back to close up in just one minute. Remember, Hostess fruit pies are wonderful for desserts, snacks, and lunchbox treat, tea, uh, treats, too. Good evening. The Thanksgiving holiday weekend is drawing to a close, and the homeward rush is adding to those grim traffic statistics. Across the nation, 313 persons have been killed since the holiday weekend began Wednesday evening. In Connecticut, five people have died in highway accidents, and in Massachusetts... Likewise, the figure stands at five. In Connecticut, one reason for the relatively low figure is a crackdown against speeders by the State Highway Patrol. Anyone picked up going 60 miles an hour or better is stopped and ticketed after they're given the scores. Faculty and school board members contributed $5 apiece and some help from their friends to give the students a big kickoff to their fall sports program. Among the events of the day, the arrival of two parachutists. <laughs> they had trouble. They had big trouble. <laughs> That's how they came in. <laughs> That, that was a tug of war upside down. They did one of those. And they even had a jeep pushing contest, which we don't even want to show you that upside down. Go ahead, do something. Frosty the Snowman. You've seen him on PM Magazine for years. His name is Connecticut Transit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> rain to the east. There'll be more rain. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm going to have to give you a forecast. What's the forecast? <laughs> that completes this edition of Eyewitness News News. Eyewitness News. For... It's going to be one of those days, folks. That's our report for tonight. Thank you for joining us. We'll all be black next. We'll all be back next week. And I'll be black. We'll all be back, though. It's not my night. What day is this, anyway? Friday, December the 16th, 1970. This is Walter Cronkite for CBS News. Good night. <laughs>